a friend of mine's just told me that he's got to get tested today for coronavirus because um, he's showing symptoms of having the virus and that's quite a scary place for him and his partner to be not knowing whether they're going to get really ill or whether they'll just get mild symptoms or maybe they haven't even got the virus at all. I've been going out and about a little bit more over the last uh, few weeks because lockdown has been easing but every time I go somewhere new whether it's to go shopping or um, to go and visit a friend um, or to have friends around to the house or to go and have a meeting with somebody. I'm always a little bit worried about what I'm going to find when I get there and how um, that particular place is going to be operating and whether I'm doing the right thing. It feels like we're um, surrounded by fear at the moment because of what's happening with coronavirus. So the reading this week from Romans is really um, appropriate for us. The writer says that um, we are not bound by a spirit of fear or a slavery to fear. It doesn't mean that we should just ignore advice or things that are going on um, and that we shouldn't do the right things by socially distancing or wearing masks or making sure we're washing and disinfecting our hands and the things around us but we shouldn't be slaves to fear. We shouldn't see fear as something that stops us and be the controlling factor in our lives. The Holy Spirit gives us a spirit of love and the ability to not be fearful no matter what's going on. In fact, in this passage, the writer goes even further than just talking about being loved. He talks about us being adopted that we are co-heirs with Jesus. We are inheritors of the kingdom of God in the same way that Jesus does. That means that you and I are brothers and sisters of Jesus. It means that everything that he has, we are also entitled to. It also means that we can live life like he did. Now, as Jesus went to the cross on Good Friday I'm sure he was scared and petrified of what was going to happen to him as he suffered that punishment and the uh, indignation of being crucified I'm sure that was a horrible fearful time for him but he didn't allow that fear to dominate and take over and dictate what he should do he rose above his fear and he put the guidance of the Holy Spirit and his destiny before fear. You know, the phrase, do not be afraid or some derivative of it, appears in the Bible 365 times. It's almost like God knew that fear was going to be something which would stop us from fulfilling our potential as heirs of Jesus, as his children, and ensured that every day we could find that reassurance from him that we don't have to be afraid. Fear can cripple us, can stop us, can stop us engaging with what we need to do and from living the life that God's put out in front of us. And God says to us, don't be afraid. Don't let fear stop you rise above it and move on from it because love always conquers fear